you do his prophets on. There are people who are prophets. No matter what you do, they go automatically know what's going on. God is going to wake them up at the right purpose. How, how come? We don't understand. Because it is beyond your understanding, your human understanding. You get your intelligence from books. We get our intelligence from the Almighty. So men and women of God, we stand firm with the Word of God. Somebody right now is going through a situation. They may be hungry, not because of mechanisms of what they can't do, but because of the evil and wickedness of what somebody else wants to do. Because remember, Jesus was followed. Jesus was haunted. They looked for reasons to entrap him. They lied on him. They knew that Barabbas, now for y'all that don't know, one, when they decided to ask the people, they said, do y'all want Barabbas? to be uh, crucified, Jesus Barabbas. His name is Jesus too. Do y'all want Jesus Barabbas to be crucified or do y'all want Jesus of, of Nazareth? The Sadducees, who was the lawmaking body and authority of that time, they said Jesus. And all the people in the crowd started hollering Jesus. So he was a lamb. He came as the perfect sacrifice for all your sins. So your sins and my sins. The example that I have persecuted individuals are ideally treated differently than your average citizen. Yes. And certain goods and services are kept back as a point punishment. Yes. This was the same as the Israelites in the Bible and certain Christians in the world today. Especially in uh, areas like uh, India. Lady Captain said she did an extended study, and I applause on that study. And she talked about all these individuals who were in India, those individuals in Africa, those individuals in China. And then we have some cases in the United States also. But this is a global phenomenon. You can go from here to the moon, and it's the same situation. So, if you somebody with just a little knowledge, if you someone with a little common sense, if you have two senses, <laughs> not sorry, you should be able to say, well, something is wrong with this. If I go to China, they're going to persecute me. If I go to Russia, they're going to they gonna use the same thing on me. If I go to India, it's the same thing. If I go to Africa, somebody sat down and came up with a global phenomenon. George Bush Sr. said in uh, 1992, he said a brand new world order. We ain't even talking about that today, but I'm telling you, persecution exists. And who is behind persecution? Well, according to the Bible, it's the devil. And you know, and the devil can use anyone who's willing to be susceptible to his call. Don't get mad at Dr. Seth, you get mad at the Bible. Certain Christians in the world today, they have been set aside for wicked purposes, you know, designed to break their spirit or the Lord that is in them, the spiritual destiny. God has established before them. So what, what Lady Castle Seth is saying, the reason these mechanisms, and they're very clever, never forget that, men and women of God, anything that deals with Satan himself, anything that deals with demonic forces are highly clever. And they are designed to break your spirit. They're designed to break your happiness. They're designed to break the life that you have. It's all about your soul, men and women of God. According to my Bible, when I last read it, it's all about your soul. It's not what you're physically seeing. When you're dealing with the enemy, it's, and, and unless you're somebody who knows the principles and the articles of the Bible, it's not what, what you are physically seeing. For every time you see something physical, it is a spiritual mechanism that is operating in the background. We need you to react according to the Word of God, according to Jesus Christ. Money, the love of money is what, Lady Catherine said, the root of evil. So you got people who are willing to sell their souls 
for the nice red car, <laughs> for the nice, for, the, for all these wonderful tricklets that the world is willing to give you, for the Corvette, for fame, to be part of the club. The last time I read the Bible, the road to salvation is narrow, but the road to destruction is wide. So men and women of God, it is a spiritual battle. Jesus said, there's going to come a time when there will be wars. That means big wars. Then he said, there's going to come a time where there is rumors of wars. They got wars that are going on that we don't, the people don't even spiritually know about because it is above their intelligence. And unless you are a spiritual somebody, you would know these things. It is designed to be hidden. Satan, the great deceiver, he's a great deceiver, he's a liar, he's a thief, he's a crook, he's a pirate, he's any negative thing, and he's stupid. They're adding on to it. Yes, the devil uses tactics used to incorporate this unjustified attack, the same the enemy used to persecute Jesus Christ. Yes. Throughout his ministry on earth, the Pharisees and Sadducees planted citizen spies yes. to watch, to follow, and give account of all the activities of Jesus Christ. The tactics of these groups slash persons were to stop the gospel of God yes. and discredit Jesus Christ to smear his name. 